Welcome to The White Book, Season 2, Episode 3, Zen of Machiavelli, Tarot Cards and Artwork. One of the best decipherers, decoders in the White Book community is Zen of Machiavelli. I made a tribute video to the website Zen of Machiavelli or Zen of Tupac a while back on Season 1. But I just wanted to go over some of the artwork that I've received from Zen of Machiavelli over time because this artwork should be appreciated. It's wonderful. So let's just get right to it. Let's look at some of these. I'll throw it on slideshow. So here we have the chariot. And you'll recall there's that that scene in the white book where I think it's Jay-Z's playing with the tarot cards. And Zen of Machiavelli made some cards based it's loosely on that section. So we have this one right here. It's a pretty cool thing. You know, I'm not going to use this slideshow. I'm just going to go one by one. Let's look at some of this detail on here. I mean, it's incredible little tiny detail down to, I mean, you wonder how he could even do this by hand. Some of the little tiny details. Not sure what the Rottweiler is, though. I don't recall that, but maybe I'm missing a verse. I'm sure you guys will respond in the comments what that means. But here's the chariot. And then we have the tower. Blow up like the world trade. With the number 16. I'm not sure what that says right there. Is that TSU? T-I-C-U? I-C-U? Has that turned into something else? And I'm not going to provide any interpretations. That'll be up to you. Because I, there's no way I could know the mind of Zen of Machiavelli. Just no way. But we have this airplane here with like a like a frequency. So that maybe that's loosely talking about those frequency weapons. So there's two towers there. Pretty cool picture. I mean, that's how about that drawing of Biggie right there? That's incredible. The tower. So we have the chariot, the tower, the fool. And I guess that's DMX. We got the Rough Rider stuff up there. We got the dog where my dog's at. What's his name? Boomer. We have a white rose down here. And what's this? Yonkers. So that's some pretty neat artwork. The Fool. And from what I understand, there's another Fool card that I don't have of Old Dirty Bastard. And so here's... One of his masterpieces. There's just so much going on here. Brooklyn Kether, Battery Park. That almost looks like the Atlas Shrug thing. Holland Tunnel, Chalkma, Trinity Church, Chinatown, Washington Square, Doth, Frank Sinatra, Gabura, NYU. Look at all these symbols. We got King Kong up in this Empire State Building, Masonic Temple, Madison Square Garden, Madison Square Garden, Queens Midtown Tunnel, the United Nations Headquarters, Chrysler Building, Grand Central Terminal. A six. We have we got some numbers here. Six, seven, four, five, eight, nine, three, two, ten. Beyond my understanding, Quad, Quad Studios, Nedzak, Times Square, HOD, what does that say? Got Rockefeller Center, Radio City, Trump Tower, Carnegie Hall, Yeesup, Central Park, the Big Apple, New York City. Pretty neat. How about that? Hanging up in his garage. We got this picture of Tupac Thug Life. He even has that there. Let's check out some of this detail. Amazing. Nice picture. Nice drawing. And that's it looks like it's on a big piece of paper. Okay, and this one's Paradise Nevada. Was there a name on the other one? New York City. Okay, so this one's New York City. This one's Paradise, Nevada, down to Utah. Ten, nine, all right, so we have 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Look at this. It's like a board game. Start from the top. Whoops. Home to Janet Airlines, serving Area 51. Nice, Nevada. I can't even read that one. McCarran. We got Egypt Luxor to live and die in LA. Tropicana. Deleth. Beth. Gamel. Aleph. I remember all these were in one of the chapters. Excalibur. MGM. Club. That, that's the Death Row Club, I think. All Eyes on Me. Planet Hollywood. Look at all this. Wild Wild West, 777-16-VAU. <laughs> Caesar's Palace, Imperial Palace. Fini <laughs> Sands, we got Trump again. We got 27, 28, 29. All these Tao, Shin. Lots of detail in here. Lots of info. Does Zen of Machiavelli get the white book or what? This is, I mean, you might have theories, but, but have you plotted it out like this? And we have the tower. And I remember a lot of stuff was pointed out in here. I don't know if that's Doc and Marty or what. That's like the lightning from Back to the Future. We got tw uh, 16 again. That's the second time we're seeing 16. We got Jay-Z, the Emperor, one of the tarot cards, along with the Chariot. We got four and seven. Let's take a look at this Jay-Z here. Jay-Z's got a Mason staff, a number four on his shirt, a number four there. Some of those goat heads, the emperor. Look at that. Pretty slick. Hanging on the wall. Look at that. Imagine that in your house. If there was a tarot card set, would you guys be interested in purchasing them? It's another close-up of the emperor, Jay-Z, A.D., Hawaii Five-O, Dano, Beyonce as Hawaiian Sophie. So even this Hawaii Five-O, Dano, even this is incorporated into a picture. Another look at the tower. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Book of Numbers. What is in the Book of Numbers? Only Zen of Machiavelli knows. All right, so that's that's the tarot card art. I'm going to show you some of the rest of the Zen of Machiavelli art because this stuff is hot stuff. All the like, look at that picture right here. First off, look, it's like Tupac's the lion. The lion. All the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely players. They have their exits and their entrances, and one man in his time plays many parts. His act being. Seven ages. As you like it, Act Two, Scene Seven, William Shakespeare, Shakur Spear. And there, I don't know if you guys seen that uh, Tupac hoax video, Part Two of the uh, Shakespeare connection. All right, we got Central Park. I guess this might have been like the early stages of creating that final product we saw. So we could see how he does it. He drew it up like this and then filled it in. Pretty neat blueprint. Early stage design. And then this one's Paradise, Nevada. So the other one was New York City. Let's see. So this almost looks different than the, the previous one. It's the same images, but I guess it was unfinished at the time. Pretty neat. Early stage art. Look at that art. It's just... Imagine if this was like a higher definition picture, like if it was scanned in. We got the Interstate 15, 
I think that was the was that fifteen one with Jay Z. Pretty neat picture. Oh man, look at this one. This is just way too much to go through. I think I I looked at this on the previous Zena Machiavelli. <clears throat> but look at this detail. I mean, what's going on in this guy's mind that he's got all this stuff that he's just got to get out through art form? The Las Vegas Strip is an exact replica of the Tree of Life and the Ten Sephiroth. There are many amazing correspondences, but none better than this, the Compass Rose, northwest, southeast. This is our traditional visualization, but consider that west is at the top of this map and just, and look at that. N becomes Z, the twenty or two, the twenty-sixth letter. Consider, oh no, Z is the twenty-sixth letter. Consider that it's kind of hard to read. Twenty blah blah mirror Z. Finally, south side A confused N is the fourteenth letter, so N would be forty-one. Together they form fifty-five, and there's like some kind of symbol there. A quick second look shows that this spells Zen. Ha. Zen with the values 88, 10, and 55. And his mind could just think of that stuff. I mean, really, does your mind just think of that stuff? Mine doesn't. Finally, consider this. Sephiroth minus strip ho numbered. Uh, beyond, beyond me, dude. But we got some letters here, some words. Cough, 29, judgment. I guess I'd have to read the Tree of Life to fully appreciate this. Mercury. So this one's even slightly different than that other one we looked at. So it's neat having all these different iterations of it. This is, this is quite, quite the art with so many details. Death row. Now here's some. Yeah, the symbolism here is too much for me to know, but man... Look at that. That's pretty cool. We got that one. These th these look like they're signed by somebody else. So I don't know if these are Zena Machiavelli art pieces. We got the golden spiral, golden ratio, or whatever that is. Applied to the Tupac. Death Row, Book Two, All Eyes on Me, A plus B. And I remember he used to say something about Track 21. That's still pretty tight. You know, now that I'm looking at this, I realize this is All Eyes on Me. But if you ever look at the Look Into My Eyes single by Bone Thugs and Harmony, it's very similar to this, and the eye is Wishbone's Eye. Oh man, look at all this here. <clears throat> well, let's let's read it. First, we have this cool pick a Tupac up here, our Aramic, Hebrew, Phoenician, twenty one. There's that twenty one I was talking about. Greek Phi, Canaanite Phi, or that symbol is the twenty first letter in the Greek alphabet. It is also known as the Golden Ratio. Okay, so then that takes us back to the Golden Ratio there. Shin Sin is the 21st letter of the Hebrew alphabet. The three prongs of Shin symbolize fire and three flames. This shape is known in many traditions by the trident of Neptune, Poseidon, and the Trishula, three spear of Shiva. U is the 21st letter of the English alphabet. And the 21st letter of the Supreme alphabet as well. The Supreme alphabet explains U as you or universe and you and I verse. You are the universe because we are the creators of the sun, moon, and star, or man, woman, and child. I see an arrow pointing this way. All of these are important. There's a song that confirms this, All About You. Tupac made three records in 21 days while with Death Row. This was not an accident. It is widely known that the seven-day theory was created in seven days, it is often overlooked that All Eyes on Me was completed between 101395 and 102795 in 14 days. 
That would mean seven days for book one and seven more for book two. If you have septuplets, you have seven babies. This is because sept means seven. September was originally the seventh month because a new year used to start at the spring equinox and not January 1st until 1752, the British and their American colonies celebrated their new year in March. Taking this into account, you could say that Tupac died after holding on for seven days after being wounded on the seventh day of the seventh month of 1996, passing away seven months or 210 days post All Eyes on Me release. At this, this, this piece right here, I, I've been talking about this thing with the months because like October should be the eighth month, November should be the ninth, December should be the tenth. And if you get into the Zen Machiavelli calculations, he does the years with 360 days instead of 365. This is one hell of a piece of artwork right here. It's just a nice portrait. Look at that detail. That's really nice. All right, I'm guessing that's Tupac and Jim Belushi in Gang Related. It's my guess. 777. What we got up here? Man, if only this was in better quality. wonder what these dates mean. Look at that. October 95. Pretty cool picture, though. What do we got here? Hmm. This is a cool picture. Adam and Eve, I guess. I mean, just pretty cool pick. Like a cool art style. Like, kind of like watercolors, but not quite. Not quite pastel kind of in between but definitely cool art this is a real low uh resolution it's like 320 pixels that's why i can't get it's not that good but pretty cool picture all right so we have more of this golden spiral on this all eyes on me cover shoot done in 2015 definitely a nice picture amazing detail Look at that. What do we have here? So it's, I guess it's done with dry erase. Man, if, I hope it wasn't done with dry erase markers. <laughs> what a shame to erase this, huh? All right, so I guess this is another tree of life kind of thing. I can't really read it, but there it is. He knows what it all means. I don't. This is some kind of four-dimensional geometry that I don't fully comprehend, but kind of cool. I know that sacred geometry and four-dimensional shapes and whatnot are big to fully grasp a lot of concepts. I'm not there yet. So here's another shot of that map that we looked at earlier. Looks slightly different. <laughs> The devil. This kind of looks like, uh, forget his name, the basketball player he used to be on the, the Rockets. <laughs> okay, so are we back to the beginning? Yeah. All right, so that, that this has been going on for a lot of time. I mean, I think this video is long enough. Just wanted to share this amazing artwork with you. This is Zen of Machiavelli's art. Definitely check him out. At Zen of Machiavelli on Twitter. I think this is Zen of Machiavelli.com. And again, let us know if you're interested in any of these tarot cards. If, for him to expand on this tarot card series. I think these the artwork here is phenomenal. Imagine having some collector's tarot cards of the white book. The only problem is, is our audience for this book is so small that it's just not worth it. But this art is just killer. 
just for a hobbyist, right? So just want to give props where props are due to somebody that helped me all along the way from the very beginning of the White Book, Zena Machiavelli. That is Season 2, Episode 3 of the White Book. I'm Jonathan Lippi, and I'll see you in the next episode.